Fredrika Caroline Washington was a fair-skinned, green-eyed film actress and civil rights activist. She was born on December 23, 1903 in Savannah, Georgia to Hattie Walker Washington and Robert T. Washington. She went to school at East Broad Street School in Savannah until her mother died. In 1919, Freddie Washington moved to Harlem, New York and stayed with her grandmother. At the age of 16, she dropped out of school to go to work. In the fall of 1921, she worked as a bookkeeper and assistant at a record company called Harry's Pace Black Swan Records. The summer of 1922, Washington decided to join the course of the touring company of the musical Shuffle Along, the longest running show created, written, directed, produced, and performed by African American artists. Shuffle Along launched the white fascination with black life and culture, changed the face of the American musical and marked a high point in the fusion of politics and the performing arts that was the emblematic of New Negro Movement. After the final tour of Shuffle Along, Washington was selected to play in a theoretical called Black Boy in 1926. Washington received res solid reviews, but the play closed at the month-long run. In 1929, she won her first film, role in RKO Radio Pictures, promotional short black and tan fantasy featuring Duke Ellington and his Cotton Club Orchestra. In 1934, Freddie Washington played a critical role in Imitation of Life. This film invoked issues and questioning of racial identification and discrimination. This marked an important moment in the history of the New Negro Movement and the African American quest for racial equality. The debate centered upon Washington's character. Viola, a young African-American woman who chooses to pass for white. Despite her performance, cri critics criticized the film for its complex and dramatic plot. However, many of the black community appreciated the refinements of Washington's interpretation of a young woman seeking not to be white, but the opportunities available to white people. And Washington increasingly focused her energies upon social and political activism. She was one of the founding members of the Negro Actors Guide of America, NAG. She spoke out against racism in the entertainment industries and society at large. In 1947, she was a co-founder of the Cultural Division of the National Negro Congress. Not bitter, but deeply saddened by the treatment she and other black performing artists received, she still fought against the racism, bigotry, and violence. Freddie Washington remained committed to the belief that race was not a bar to excellence. Freddie Frederick Carolyn Washington died June 28, 19.